in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and was born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He, he, he ascended into heaven and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, what in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The of luminous mysteries, the first luminous mystery, the baptism in the river Jordan. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The second, the second luminous mystery, the wedding at Cana. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen O oh my Jesus forgive us our sins save us from the fires of hell and lead all souls into heaven especially those who are most in need of thy mercy the third luminous mystery the proclamation of the kingdom of god our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The fourth luminous mystery, the Transfiguration. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Holy Eucharist. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, Jesus forgive us sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in motion of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy. Hail our lives, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, for banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn them, O most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant that beseech thee that meditating upon these mysteries in the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The litany of our Lady, Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. God, Holy Twin, Holy Trinity One God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgins of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, Pray for us. Mother of the Church. Pray for us. Mother of Mercy. Pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace. Pray for us. Mother Most Pure. Pray for us. Mother Most Chaste. Pray for us. Mother Inviolate. Pray for us. Mother Undefied. Pray for us. Mother Most Amiable. Pray for us. Mother Most Admirable. Pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel. Pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Savior, pray for us. Virgin most prudent, pray for us. Virgin most venerable, pray for us. Virgin most renowned, pray for us. Virgin most powerful, pray for us. Virgin most merciful, pray for us. Virgin most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of justice, pray for us. Seat of wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our joy, pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of ivory, pray for us. House of gold, pray for us. Ark of the covenant, pray for us. Gate of heaven, pray for us. Morning star, pray for us. Health of the sick, pray for us. Refuge of sinners, pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of angels, pray for us. Queen of patriots, pray for us. Queen of prophets, pray for us. 
queen of apostles pray for us queen of martyrs pray for us queen of confessors pray for us queen of virgins pray for us queen of all saints pray for us queen conceived without original sin pray for us queen assumed into heaven pray for us queen of the most holy rosary pray for us queen of families pray for us queen of peace pray for us lamp of god who takes away the sins of the world spare us o lord lamp of god who takes away the sins of the world graciously hear us o lord lamp of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us pray for the holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin Mary. Let us pray, defend, we beseech you, O Lord, by the intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, this your family from all adversity, and being prostrate before you with all our hearts, mercifully protect us from the snares of the enemy. To Christ our Lord, Amen. De memorare remember o most gracious virgin mary that never was at known that any one who fled your protection implored your help or sought your intercession was left unaided inspired with this confidence i fly to your virgins of virgins my mother today i come before thee i stand sinful and sorrowful o mother of the world incarnate despite not my petitions but in your mercy hear and answer us amen is a migrant worker who earns her bread by working at construction sites today in middle of her work her boss gathered everyone who worked there and told them that work is shutting down due to covid-19 crisis sara and her co-workers had lost their jobs now what how will we be able to survive I just can't believe they have removed us from work without paying our daily wage. I know. I am worried for tomorrow. We just have enough money for food today. At, at this rate, we will all starve to death. What do we do now? Don't worry. We will find a way. Let's go home now. After a few days, as Sara and her friends were unable to pay rent, the landlord asked them to leave. Now they had nowhere to go. Everything is getting worse as days are passing. We don't have a place to live now. We cannot even go back to our villages as all the trains and buses are not functioning. This lockdown is making it difficult for us. What do we do now? I think we've all worked hard and survived these years. We have even held each other during bad days. We cannot lose hope. We need to be strong. Sara looks at everyone's gloomy faces. She suddenly hears a church bell ringing. She instantly stands up. We have a way. We have Mother Mary with us. How can we forget? You are right. Mama Mary is a shining light in our lives. Yes. All we need to do is pray to our mother. We should surrender unto her and I know she will answer our prayers. All the workers nod their heads and sit down to pray. They pray sincerely the entire night. without eating a grain of food it's morning we haven't eaten anything let me go look for food i was passing by and saw you all looking so distressed and guessing that you are a part of the migrant workers community yes we are don't worry i work for an ngo we serve free food and transportation to the needy during this pandemic crisis What? Really? This is unbelievable. All the workers 
smiled, looking at each other. At that very moment, they knew in their hearts that Mother Mary had sent help. They all eat enough food and travel back to their village safely. Mother Mary never failed to help her children in need. Her immaculate heart intercedes for us whenever we lift up our sorrows unto her. She embraces us during hard times and always hears our prayers. She gave solace to the migrants during one of the most difficult times in their lives. She reached out to them in one way or the other, just like she reaches out to us. Let us come together today and put our faith in Mama Mary and pray for all the needy migrant workers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance always remain with us. Amen. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Theme Mary, Solace of Migrants Mary had to travel from her own village to Bethlehem, a distance of more than 30 miles, weathering heat, cold and dust. She was just a young girl, but carried in her womb the Son of God, Jesus Christ our Lord. It is for this that Pope Francis has included Mary, solace of migrants, in the litany dedicated to Our Lady. How often was Jesus not welcomed in his own land? During this Eucharistic celebration, we turn our thoughts towards those who are considered aliens and suffer isolation, degradation and persecution as a result. Today's Mass we offer for the soul of Melvin Fernandez. For the soul of Melvin Fernandez. Along with this intention, we come before the Lord asking Him pardon and mercy and also remembering His grace that gives us power and strength to live our faith more fully. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, today celebrating the fifth day of Novena, we reflect on the theme, Mary, Solace of the Migrants, as beautifully read in the beginning, we know the feeling of neglect, uh, people being pushed out from the community. It's a great pain. And therefore, this same pain was also felt by Jesus himself when his own hometown did not receive him well. And therefore, he says, no prophet is respected in his own hometown. Today, looking at the example of Mary, who trusted the Lord, who always refers or comes before us as a model of trust, 
no matter what the situation was. But she was ready to accept anything because of the yes she said to the Lord. So today, let's take courage, let's take hope in the situations, even when we are neglected. Let us hope that God will take care of us and our needs. At this time, let us confess our sins before God and seek His pardon and mercy. Let us all say together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Make no mistake about it. If any one of you thinks of himself as wise in the ordinary sense of the word, then he must learn to be a fool before he really can be wise. Why? Because 
the wisdom of this world is foolishness to God. As scripture says, the Lord knows wise men's thoughts. He knows how useless they are. Or again, God is not convinced by the arguments of the wise. So, there is nothing to boast about in anything human. Paul, Apollos, Cephas, the world, life and death, the present and the future are all your servants. But you belong to Christ and Christ belongs to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The words of our response are, The Lord's is the earth and its fullness. Please listen to the tune. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus was standing one day by the lake of Gennesaret with the crowd pressing round him, listening to the word of God, when he caught sight of two boats close to the bank. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, it was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished, finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep water and pay out your nets for a catch. Master, Simon replied, we worked hard all night long and caught nothing, but if you say so, I will pay out the nets. And when they had done this, they netted such a huge number of fish that their nets began to tear. So they signaled all their companions in the other boat to come and help them. When these came, they filled the two boats to sinking point. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus, saying, 
Leave me, Lord, I am a sinful man. For he and all his companions were completely overcome by the catch they had made. So, so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were Simon's partners. But Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, it is men you will catch. Then bringing their boats back to the land, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, today Father Joseph will break the word for us. So please welcome him. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, today we are reflecting on the theme of Mary, solace of the migrants. On 21st of June this year, Pope Francis added three titles in the litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mary, Mother of Hope, Mary, Mother of Mercy, Mary, solace of the migrants. Yes, my dear sisters and brothers, as you are familiar that Pope Francis has very special concern and care for the situations and the plight of the migrants, especially those migrants who have come from war-torn countries and have landed up in Europe. However, we live in an age when newcomers are looked with suspicion and fear. The migration issue is something very real that affects all of us in Mumbai and Tane. The various questions that emerge in our mind when we talk about migrants, will they help or will they hurt our economy? Will they affect the culture of our local community? The most important question, will these migrants take away our jobs? These are real questions, but we need to look at what is a Christian response? Do we have a duty to welcome strangers? Yes, my dear sisters and brothers, when we look at the scripture, you know, we have an entire theme that evolves around migration. Uh, different points in the biblical history, we see that migration took place. Take for example, in the book of Genesis, God appeared to Abraham and says, you know, move away from land of Ur and go to the promised land, the land of Canaan. That's why in Genesis 12, 1 and 2, God tells Abraham, go forth from the land of your own king's folk and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation and I will bless you. And so Abraham and Sarah took away their sheep, their goat, their cattle and moved from one place to the other. We have another very important migration event that took place, and that is Exodus. The people, the Israelites, were in slavery in Egypt. They were being persecuted and they were being exploited by Pharaoh. And Moses delivers them from the hands of the Pharaoh through the power of Yahweh. And the people leave Egypt and they are wandering in the desert for 40 years. For 40 years they were homeless, 40 years they had no land of their own. And so God tells them that just like they kept on wandering in the desert, they didn't have any home, they need to therefore take care of those who are homeless and those who are wanderers. In the New Testament, we have Joseph and Mary who are also migrants, they are also refugees. Joseph and Mary lived in the town of Nazareth, but to register they had to go to Bethlehem. There were migrants there and you know what happened to our lady? Mary was about to give birth to the baby, to the child, but there was no place because everybody closed their doors, nobody welcomed them, they rejected them, they had no place. And finally, the saviour of the world had to be born in a stable. What? A pain and suffering did our lady endure to give birth to her only son. And that's not the end. 
We know that King Herod wanted to kill baby Jesus and therefore the angel appeared to Joseph and said, flee to Egypt. And then from Bethlehem they fled into Egypt. We do not know exactly how many months or years they spent there, but they spent quite a few months or at least a year in Egypt as refugees, as migrants. They had no home. They were at the mercy of people. I'm sure uh, Joseph the carpenter when begging for job over there. Yes, my dear sisters and brothers, this was the real experience of Mary, mother of Jesus, of Saint Joseph, and also Jesus. When you look at life of Jesus, Jesus was also a wandering preacher. He was a migrant preacher. He went on preaching and teaching and performing healings and miracles in different towns of Bethlehem, in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, in Galilee. And he always relied on the welcome and the hospitality of the other sisters and brothers. And that's why we say that Mother Mary is the solace of the migrants. Why? Because she identifies with the pain and the sufferings of the migrants and the refugees. She identifies herself because she herself went through that fear, that pain and suffering because she herself was a migrant. She herself went wandering from place to place. My dear sisters and brothers, Mother Mary knows the pain and suffering. Mother Mary understands the care and concern that we need to give to our brothers and sisters. These are people who are strangers, they are foreigners. We do not know them and yet the church and Mother Mary invites us that we need to have special care for them. The Catholic social teaching speaks about various fundamental principles on migration, but I would like to just highlight this one principle or two principles rather. The first one is that every person has the right to find opportunities in their own homeland. And that comes through proper work because work gives, provides wages and work therefore is a basic human need. And therefore every person should have work in their own homeland. And from this emerges the second principle that every person has the right to migrate, to support themselves and their families because all the goods of the earth belong to all people doesn't belong only to a particular country or nation. The goods of the earth belong to all people. And those who cannot find employment in their own country of origin, they have a right to find work elsewhere so that they can survive. They can take care of their families. They can give their families a life of dignity and they can give their family a good standard of living. And therefore we know even in India and where we experience people coming from different parts of the country why do they come? Why do they come? They come because of poverty. They come because of natural disaster. They come because there is no water, there is famine, there is drought. And as a result, people move because of better life practices. They move for a better lifestyle so that they can live with decency and with dignity. My dear sisters and brothers, various hardships that these migrants face when they come to the cities. Probably we may not be aware. Sometimes it will be nice to just have a look at what are these some of the issues that these migrants face. Take for example, in our own city of Thane or in Mumbai, we have thousands of Catholic migrants who have come from Jharkhand, from Chhattisgarh, from Chota Nagpur area. And they all seem to be anonymous. They all seem to be lost. They do not know because at times they do not know the language. Look at our own services, all everything, their faith is all getting weaker because they do not get that uh, the faith practices that they need to have so that they can enrich their faith because the medium of instruction quite often is either Marathi or Konkani or English. But these are, they can understand to a great extent, may not be fully Hindi. But how many parishes do have Hindi services? So they are all lost into anonymity. Their faith practices um, are, are not up to the mark and their faith becomes weaker. They have to endure a lot of harassment and uh, sometimes physical, emotional, even sexual and financial. And this is sometimes even in our own Catholic families. 
They have no place to go. They always look at our domestic helps. They are always under the threat of being thrown out. Where will they go if they are thrown out? And therefore they endure silently because they have no place to go and they are exploited. No proper wages, no proper holidays, no proper medical benefits. Look at, let me look at some of these. Uh, they get up, they are the first ones to wake up early in the morning. They are the last to go to bed. From morning till late night, they are working, they are constantly working. How many hours of sleep they get? How much of recreation do they really enjoy? My dear sisters and brothers, we need to ask ourselves, why do these people come? Are they coming just to earn money? No. Yes, that is one of an important criteria. But they come because probably they are living in poverty. Their family is living in poverty. They have no food to eat. There's some sick person in the house, a father or mother or husband or children. And so their minds are constantly that go back to their own families. But do we really reach out to them? Do we really understand them? Have we really sat with them? Have we spoken our hearts to them? Have we understood their problems, their life? My dear sisters and brothers, we need to be sensitive. We need to respect the dignity of every human person. We need to treat these people with, with dignity. I remember some time ago when one migrant was living in slums and uh, <clears throat> because slum it was rainy season it was monsoon uh, it was all flooded and they had to move their, their small little pot squatter from one place to the other uh, it was all filled with water and that lady that woman was unable to go to work and when after three four days when she went to work and she collected a salary the employer a catholic employer had deducted her salary she felt very sad. She felt very sad. She tried to explain to, to the madam what had happened. But the madam was simply insensitive. She said, you have not come to work. You have not informed me. I don't care. My dear sisters and brothers, can we be sensitive to the needs? Can we reach out to them? Can we be open like Jesus was open to the migrants? My dear sisters and brothers, Mary is the solace of the migrants. Mary will never abandon her children. She does not abandon us. She will never abandon these brothers and sisters who live a difficult life here in our cities. How can we help them? How can we speak a good word to them? How can we interact with them? How can we try to bring joy in their life? Can we allow them to go out for some time so that they can mix around with their own people? Can we allow them to go for Sunday Mass for the Sunday Eucharist? Can we help them to be kind to others? Can we teach them about kindness too? Yes, my dear sisters and brothers, let us today ask Mary Amara that like she was welcoming the migrant, that she is one who's, who really reaches out to the migrants, like Jesus was always welcoming the migrants and all those who came to him can we to open our hearts and welcome the migrants because to welcome the migrants is to welcome Jesus himself. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's present our prayers and petitions before the Lord. Heavenly Father, even after the birth of your son, Mary had to flee to Egypt to escape the wrath of King Herod. There are millions of people who face the same persecution every day. We turn our thoughts towards these and others and place our petitions before you. Our response will be, Heavenly Father, relieve this suffering of my limbs. Please repeat, Heavenly Father, relieve this suffering of my limbs. That Pope Francis, the bishop, priest, and the religious may do everything in power to reduce the operation of those who are considered outsiders. For this we pray, Heavenly Father, relieve 
Disappointment of migrants. That each one of us in this parish may come to the aid of any person irrespective of caste or creed. For this we pray, Heavenly Father, relieve the suffering of the migrant. That leaders of our country may inspire to welcome any person into their nations and treat them with dignity and justice. For this we pray, Heavenly Father, relieve the sufferings of migrants. We pray for our personal needs and those of the community. For this we pray, Heavenly Father, relieve the suffering of migrants. Almighty Father, through the lives of Jesus and Mary, we learn that the future of entire humanity is in your hands. You are indeed the God of all people. Grant us the wisdom to put this message of equality into practice in our daily lives. Graciously grant us our petitions. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. The Lord, Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we may advance towards eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to us ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim...
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Oswald Cardinal Gracious our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Dominic, Saint Francis, Saint Augustine, Saint Clare, Saint Mother Teresa, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray with confidence to the Father in the words of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. The Spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace to you all. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are all of us called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for everlasting life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
all generations will call me blessed for god has looked on his lowly handmaid let us pray renewed with this heavenly food we humbly implore you lord that having received your son born of the tender virgin under sacramental signs we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds who lives and reigns forever and ever amen Novena prayers for the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. O Most Holy Virgin, you were chosen by the most adorable Trinity from all eternity to be the most pure Mother of Jesus. O tender Mother of the afflicted, grant me under my present necessities a special protection. relying upon the infinite mercies of your divine son and penetrated with confidence in your powerful prayers i humbly entreat you to intercede for me i beg you to obtain for me the favors which i petition for in this novena specify your request O mother of god accept my salutations in union with the respect with which the angel gabriel first hailed you full of grace i beseech you o comforters of the afflicted to obtain for me the favors and graces which i have now implored through your powerful intercession for this end i offer you the good works i do and sufferings i endure i humbly entreat you for the love of the amiable heart of jesus with which yours was ever so inflamed to your prayers and obtain my requests amen our lady mother of god pray for us we thank father joseph gonzalez for preaching god's word on the theme mary solace of migrants for the migrants god bless him abundantly father joseph is from saint pius 10 seminary he is a professor we thank sunday school students of standard 8 for animating today's liturgy tomorrow's novena will be animated by the sunday school students of standard 9 Navina mass will begin at 7 pm with rosary at 6:30 pm The Lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty God bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit Amen. go forth and serve the lord thanks be to god